Oh, Max in Twitch chat saying, Fire uh, Capitals Fire Kitty by Pace Cat and Leisha coming to a music store near you. The epic tale of Fire Kitty. Three, yeah. Alright, anyways, back to this round one. We're redoing it again because apparently things kind of had a little bit of a hiccup, but we thank everyone for tuning in and hanging out with us. I'm Pace Cat, this is Leisha, we're cool and stuff. Yeah, we're pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, Lisa, do you think I'm cool? I think you're really cool. Nice. I think you're really cool too. I think uh, Doodle's doing better than he was last time. Um, maybe uh, lurk, kind of adapting a little bit more to the fire key strategy over here. The fire key strategy. The fire key strategy. Yeah. Honestly, okay. So like I will say that just to give a little bit more background for the people who have tuned in and wondering what the heck the bump is doing. Um, yeah, Kromp has actually been playing Fire Kitty quite a bit. He's actually not bad. Yeah, so, his this is pretty strong. Yeah, it's it's not like a definitely it's not like a pick out of nowhere. Uh, but then again, Doodle's actually really good with that alpha right there. So remains to be seen whether or not we'll be able to actually get the lariat like we did in that other first game before things exploded. Oh, there we go. Okay, Lariat, but wrong way. I'm gonna have to redouble efforts right here to see if he can get one single hit right now. Even a back throw will be able to do it. That's true. I'm not mis even if I'm not mistaken, Fire Kitty has the strongest throws in the game. He does have some of the biggest arms in the game. Dang. He got that Lariat in and uh, took the love for dinner. Yeah. Eat your heart out, uh, Min Min. Oh my goodness, the Aero Larry right there, perfectly placed. Crump actually right now, doing not bad. Trying to catch up a little bit. Was suffering from a bit of a uh, stock and percentage deficit, but managed to bring him back a little bit before taking all that extra damage from the, uh, from the straight Pikmin. Looks like Prompt really has a good sense of where uh, Incineroar is able to go. Oh, perfectly landing that uh, that dive. Ooh. Oh, that was such a nicely placed forward smash right there. Just avoiding the, uh, the spinning death. There we go. Once again, Crump getting out another signature area at the moment. Seeing the last stalker here, this match one has to find a way to sort of close things out just to keep it even. Oh! And he's dead! Cat feet coming in clutch there right now. I'm not doing half bad. Getting in that counter. Next hit's gonna be able to do a little extra damage and knockback. Not that it matters right now, but still getting it at 35. Well done by Kromp. Has to deal with the Pikmin though. That's gonna be a bit difficult. Oh, the oh, oh, the stray Thickman! It came out of nowhere! That was right. nasty Thickman. That was sick nasty. Sick nasty farts! <laughs> I was gonna- I, I- I was just like, I set that up, I wonder if Leisha's gonna go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're a fellow Grums fan, I appreciate that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love them. Sick nasty farts! <laughs> I like, okay, so I think um, at work I actually do listen to like a lot of audiobooks and podcasts and stuff like that while I'm working. Mm -hmm. uh, but lately I've been like binging on just loading up a bunch of the um, Game Grump videos and just listening to them while I do my work in the background. So I think like yesterday's shift was basically just half of me listening to things related to uh, Friend Dog, and that's why I have it like, stuck in my mind right now. Oh, yeah. Speaking of Friend Dog, so here we got Wolf coming in. <laughs> He's programmed to protect humanity. He is Friend Dog. He is Friend Dog. I love that clip. Sorry, let's get back to the match. <laughs> um, so, this is another one of uh, Crump's... Um, I'm not going to say main, because I don't really see it very often. I mean, I know... 
he's got like his pack is like his signature character, and he's also been training up that Fire Kitty as well. But now we got Angry Puppy, Fire Kitty, and Angry Puppy. I see a yeah. pattern here. Just furious animals. <laughs> furious animals. A lovely uh, Harry from uh, Doodle. Oh, they're both at 99%. Doodle only has 0.1% extra damage. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Not, not anymore. Oh! Oh, that was the blue pick and throw. Not enough. And a dash attack sending Doodle flying. Oh, here we go. The next hit's gonna be able to do it, Leisha. Nice. And there we go. The up smash. After the unsuccessful down smash. Not able to actually two frame at the ledge. Oh, and right there, Doodle gets a smash of his own. And just like that, we have ourselves once again. Okay. Is there no music in the background of this match? <laughs> no there's music. It's the uh, it's the game watch sounds. Oh. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Okay. No, just for a second there. Were you thinking that like one of the characters is actually doing all that beeping? Yes. <laughs> Angry puppy is also a digital puppy. No, he's friend dog. He is he's friend dog. <laughs> he is friend dog. And that's why he's beeping a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Nice side B coming in from Crop right here, looking for the down smash once again. But even so, the up smash right after the failed down smash. We see ourselves a little pattern right here. Doodle's gonna have to like just fix up his gameplay just to avoid that. <laughs> Crop was going for the dash attacks, uh, keeping Olimar away from him. Going for that down smash once again. Crump is actually doing really well this time around. Mm -hmm. I think the wolf pick was definitely what he needed in order to sort of even things out. Because Alpha or Oliver is, is definitely one of those kind of characters where it's, it's 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 very specific. It's got like very apparent weaknesses and strengths. Right. Oh no. <gasps> Oh my goodness, a side B right there, not getting punished in the way probably that uh, Doodle would perhaps hope. Crump has one last chance here to make things count. 131%. Any hit will probably be able to knock it out. But Crump has two stocks. Yeah, he does. Just like that, gets that second one knocked out. Crump sitting at a fresh stock right now. Doodle, 156. This might be it. Here comes the down smash. Down smash again. Not going to be able to catch him on the ledge. Third down smash is a charm! Woo! There we go. Very nice battle between Doodle and Cromp in that one. We'll see if there's any um, character change from Cromp or Doodle. Probably not Doodle. No character change from either player. I don't know why I said that so loud, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, here we go, game three, Kromp versus Doodle. Kromp sticking on the wolf, it seems to uh, work in this matchup, but Doodle is actually pretty adept at figuring things out as the game goes, so... That's okay, Dan, if I if I can't hear it. Are you sure? Yep. Alright. Okay, here we go. So Oh, and it's Wolf versus uh sorry. He was going for that down smash again, but it didn't happen. Alright, yeah, Kromp right now. Still looking pretty decent, but I think he's relying a little too much on the smash right there. Doodle's kind of Noticing what's up with this pattern. Mm -hmm. Both, of course, still very even. We have ourselves a kind of a similar setup to the, the way we have like the previous game. Oh, 
Oh, and just, once again, Ooh. the up smash is going to be able to actually take it. I think Doodle gets a little too comfortable trying to parry the first smash, and then goes in for the second one right after, but gets, like, nailed in the face with the second smash. Oh, oh but that was beautiful. Oh, that was yeah. nicely played there by Doodle. Throwing the Pikmin off the ledge, sacrificing one of his own kin, but, of course, taking out that one stock in the process, so... Sacrificing his own kin? Exactly, yeah. I'm sorry, I know that that's what it is, but it's very funny. <laughs> yeah. He's not sacrificing his own skin, he's sacrificing his kin. Yeah, just throw my family into the fire. Throw my family into the fire. It's a sentence that I've said in 2020. And <laughs> it seems like Doodle's adapted to uh, Krampus' playstyle. Yeah, Doodle's actually play. very clever, I will say that. Having faced him, he kind of wakes up a little bit. After a round. You can't steal your place oh. from a doodle, otherwise, um... He, he, uh, he gets clever. Yeah. That being said, of course, Kromp right now, still taking a little extra damage from that Pikmin, has to be careful. He's probably gonna aim to throw it a smash at some point, but Doodle's probably gonna be ready for it. Yeah, he's gonna have to be extra careful now, because there's a Thickman. Oh, that Thickman. That's such a big boy. Such a big boy. Don't worry, Thickman, we're not body shaming you. It's 2020. We love you who who you are <laughs> the way you are. <laughs> oh, but Thickman died. Oh no! Crompton really trying to take the stock from uh, Doodle and it's just not happening. Nothing stuck. Dash Dash Attack will be able to actually do it. Might be the right answer he's looking for, but Doodle was able to dodge both times right here. At the ledge right there, Crump trying to go for the down smash. Not going to be enough to actually pick off Doodle. Doodle is act definitely um, wising up to Crump's moves here. Oh! oh! I didn't know what happened there, but Crump okay, so still in the game. Crump yeah, so Crump basically landed on Alf with the Reflector Shield, while... Um, I think Doodle was doing a forward smash, but since, like, he was within the shield, the Pikmin, like, insta-bounced immediately right into his face. Oh. It happened within, like, such close proximity that it was very difficult to tell what was going on. Ooh, but the game goes to Doodle. Doodle doing so well right there, getting that up smash, or sorry, the up throw with the blue Pikmin. Exactly what he needed, moves on to the set, 2-1. Crop is not out of the tournament.